All right, welcome back to Thea the Awakening. Once more onto the breach, dear friends. So we got wrecked uh, playing Horos last time on these, on this difficulty setting, custom. Um, world size, it was huge and realism was on normal. And we started with seven starting villagers. And this right here is the big problem. Starting villagers seven. Um, this is, ugh, I don't know. Uh, I think that's my biggest problem. Um, <laughs> let's put it that way. So this time we're level three though. So last time we were just level one. Uh, so we will have a bonus of plus two to stealth, which is nice and means I'll want to synergize that with dexterity more than I did last time and hopefully try to pass some stealth challenges. And that'll be good. One of the story quests you can get, uh, a nice bonus if you, or a nice reward if you complete it with stealth. So I want to try to do that. Uh, and then Eyes of the Beast, your vision during night turns is as, good as during, is as good as during day turns. That's a nice bonus to have, too. Um, I will turn up the world size to extreme just to bump up my final score multiplier to 240, a nice round number. I will start again trying with seven starting villagers, but I'm telling you, man, this is a, this is a killer. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but I want to have a challenge. And, uh, yeah, you know, even if I get wrecked like last time, uh, I'd still rather play a game that, you know, there's something at stake than uh, just, you know, be bopping along with a game that I know I'm going to win. So anyway, we're going to go with our village focus on warriors this time. and I'm going to try to do a little bit more adventuring right out the gate. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, a little hesitant here. Um, could get wrecked. I have to admit, too, if you're paying close attention, you might notice I think I have a few experience points here. I actually played a game and ended up recording only two episodes, and then I I quit <laughs> um, because it went off the rails. Um, so, yeah, again, like I said, this is a tough setting, but I played one game already and got wrecked, like, within, you know, 40 minutes. So uh, we'll see what happens this time. Um, Again, the key here is those starting villagers of seven is just really tough. Oh, by the way, we started in snow again, too, on that last off-camera start. So that was kind of like, yeah, really? Thank you. Um, the initial placement of our village will have an effect. Um, you know, if we get good resources or a powerful hidden resource that's tier one that I can unlock right away, like spider silk or something like that, that'll be tremendously advantageous. On the other hand, uh, we could have like a really expensive harvesting material, like uh, we could not have wood, that's happened to me before, or we could have like the exotic fruit, which is impossible to harvest uh, early on, and that could be a big setback. Uh, also because we're playing on realism, that affects the way harvesting works, and uh, that playstyle of mine that I use on easy realism is just not going to work for this game. Like, I have to come up with a new play style, and uh, I also have to not let my guys get killed. Just just the slow drip of losing people in that last game is what did me in. You know, in the end, when I rage quit, it was just like I had two events that were both lethal. Like, I was going to lose men either way. I couldn't surrender without losing people. I got lucky on the first one where uh, I lost a child because I happened to have a child in my inventory instead of one of my characters. But then the second one came up. Thea it's just like, beacon. no way. Yeah, it was, it was just a goner. Look at this. We have something right next to us. We have iron right next to us. That's actually not bad. Huh. Okay. And meat. Um, okay. Yeah. It's not vegetables, but uh, meat will do. All right. Let's see what our equipment is here. Uh... All right, it's not bad. Okay, and what's your gathering skills look like? Hmm, yeah, either way it's a two turn deal. Uh, it would be, if I put him over here, it's three turns. So this is obviously the way I want to do it. And uh, yeah, basically the breakdown is I can, at max, get 13 meat and 6 wood per turn. I can't double up and get more than that ever, so I gotta keep that in mind. Uh, cooked meals. We're gonna head straight right on into this. Oh nice, we start with elven wood. That's, that's good. I got kind of a bum start on materials too last time, so... 
Uh, we can make craft tools, apparently. Yeah. Uh, it's only three craft on that. Okay, I'm not going to do it. But we have the gold, so if we get dark wood, um, that would be a good uh, candidate to use. Now, these guys, what are they equipped with? Oh, man, we got heavy armor, but we can't equip it. Is that what you're telling me? Come on. Please tell me we can do this. Please tell me we can do this somehow. 500, 350. Oh, he has terrible weight allowance. 450, 320, 300. Okay, I want you guys to wear armor. That's all there is to it. You too. Okay. Now, you got your armor equipped. Please tell me you can wield something. Okay, that's too heavy, and that's too heavy. All of that's too heavy for you. You only have you have 350 though, so that's why. How about this and a shield? Looks good. How about that shield, 330, 330, 330. Okay, doesn't matter that much. Uh, you're at 500, and you're at 450, so you can wield the heaviest stuff. That's gonna be this axe. Oh dang, dang, she can't do it. Uh, okay, well, you're just going to wield the axe then, and you'll use... Okay, I see how that's going to be. Oh, man, she's the same way. Okay, 320. That's 300, so there we go. 494 on either of those. We'll give her this one. Okay, and we'll give him the axe. And we'll give you... Oh, you can't wield the shield, huh? Well, poo. Um, that's as good as we're going to get for now. Um, yeah, dang it. Maybe what we'll do is we'll move into Astoya. And just take their equipment. And try to work with it. Okay. So let's go back real quick. Not you guys. You guys. Alright. If I give you the spear and the heavy armor. How will that work out? There we go. Give you the sword and the shield. Okay. You can wield that and... But not that. Hmm. That's a bummer. Hmm, okay, never mind. Go back to what we had. Ah, uh, you know what? No. <laughs> Sorry. Um, give me one sec and I'll come right back on screen and get these guys equipped. See you in a sec. Alright, welcome back. So, it's not perfect, but this is the way I'm outfitting our guys. I want my medic to have something he can do in combat, so I, go I went ahead and give gave him the two-handed sword. Ah, uh, actually... Let's not. Let's give him uh, this one. I'll give him this one. Yeah, and then eventually, if we can, like, he's close. If we can get just one strength level up, then I can give him this shield. So we'll take the shield with us uh, on expedition. I went ahead and gave her the spear because it m matches her picture, which is kind of something I'm OCD about. And uh, also because I like having a piercing attack. And, uh, yeah, it, it'll be useful. And we'll go ahead and let him use the big chopper. So there we go. That's going to be my initial expedition party, and let's also transfer this stuff that we don't need back to the village, and yep, not enough dryad wood, unfortunately, to create a crafting tool, but uh, you guys are just going to head off, and should we go here first or here first? Let's go here first. Okay. Explore. You stumble across some... You search the building oh, nice. and discover... Just free loot. Always welcome. What's the gathering look like on my uh, medic? Three gathering. Okay, that's not bad. And then back here in Astoya. Uh, these guys are just getting the dregs. Uh, that's about the best I could do. So, anyway. Regular plan of attack. Get our jerky done and see what we can do. So... 
And for research, we're just going to hang on to it because I don't know what I want. Uh, anything I could get right away that would be helpful. Uh, the dark wood I could do, uh, but there's no dark wood harvestable. Harvestable, I like that word, um, nearby, so I'm going to say no to it. Let's just go. An unusually big and strange looking black rooster was seen perusing your village mm. barn. You suspect this may be a Cropsy, a domesticated field demon who can bring great fortune to its host. But beware, if it deems you to be a bad farmer, it may instead damage your crops or play nasty tricks. Alright, leave an opening in our barn wall for the Cropsy to come in and out easily. At first it seemed like oh, the Cropsy no. was pleased with you, and crops did improve. But within days, something must have displeased it. You begin finding rotten grain in your stocks, and any food stocks become infested with some disease. Could we get a break? Please? I mean, I guess I'd rather have that go wrong than any of the other things that could go wrong, but still, that was kind of crappy. Let's explore this ruin. Some ruin. You open one of the All right, let's do it. She had to get back here, huh? All right, first you go in. We'll probably play a rat, but that's okay. It's not the skeleton, so I'm not going to worry about it. Hmm, interesting. The skeleton is not going to make an appearance, apparently. Let's wait one. All right. Uh, right. How do I want to handle this? Half of 17 is not enough to kill the rat. Hmm. Well, let's uh, put you in. Oh, dang it. Why does it have to be this way? sucks. And probably take some nasty damage. I'm really not happy about that. Skeleton might kill my medic. That would just be brilliant. If that happens, ugh. I'm so angry right now. You search the buildings and discover a supplies store still intact. God, more crappy quality stuff too. Well, we have to camp. Oh, look, there's some spider wool. Silk. Um, if I lose my medic, this is going to be rage quit number two. Because I'm not willing to have that happen. That was that was kind of BS. That was garbage. Uh, let's see. We need... Uh, we don't have wood, is what you're telling me. Well, we can make wood. Because we have this thing here that's bad quality. There we go. Alright, moment of truth is coming. This is going to be the end of our run. Nope. Okay. Phew. That's good. Random crappy stuff like that happening. And it was just because the skeleton had the pierce attack, you know? That was garbage. Um, Alright. Strength on those guys is good, because that means maybe they can equip... Oh, we didn't leave any items there. <laughs> Never mind. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna get the jerky. Alright. How about you guys get up? Yeah. Everything here is good. Oh, we didn't get any of the dark wood when we recycled that shield. That's too bad. Get up. Let's move. And take on the spider's nest. Guess we're gonna have to fight. Uh, let's not auto-resolve, considering how badly he got hurt. Let's uh, use you to kill the spider. And then put you in. Uh, we could safely put you in, so we will. Hmm, that's not good. Alright, we're gonna be okay though. Yeah, let's go. Good. 
good. Ah, nice spear. We might just equip that. Seven damage versus what she using? Seven plus three. Um, let's give it to... I want to say let's give it to you. Except it's too heavy. It's too heavy for him. Oof. He could wield this. He could wield that instead of his sword. I don't think that's what I want, though. I'm going to give that to you. And I'm going to give the two-handed sword to you. Ah, it's only a difference in damage. That's okay. That's what we're doing. Made my decision. We're going to stick with it. Oh, well, you're 550 now as well. Actually, could you... Hang on a sec. This was the whole point of leveling up, was so that you could do that. All right. That's much better. And with you, give you that or give you the armor. Let's give you the blade, okay? Because it gives you five shielding, which is... That's uh, a little bit better than the six armor. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Okay. Uh, let's keep moving and exploring. So we found clay and... And... Uh, clay and spider silk. And we're about to complete the tutorial quest. Yes, wonderful. Oh, fine. You made your first batch of prepared food. No longer are you a mere scavenger. Right. Make one building. Unfortunately, there's not a lot that I can use that vine for. Um, I could make a bow with it, but I don't have very good wood for the bow. I'd rather have both components on my side before I did something like that. Hmm... We don't have... Oh, we do have the dark wood. Well... Weighs 56. To make that crafting tool. It would weigh a lot less if we used the dryad wood, but we'll go with the... We'll go with the dark wood for now. Elven wood is only a three. Yeah. Well, there we go. We're gonna make it. That'll speed up our crafting significantly. And in the meantime, you guys... Let's head here. Okay. Alright, move over here. And take a turn. Undead. Well, let's clear out the spider's nest and then go get the undead. Fight. Begin combat. Just because he's wounded and I don't trust the game to auto combat with him very well. Alright. Put you in. Put you in. Alright. Get closer. And first action him. And there we go. Alright, we made it. It's dangerous being out here with only four characters. Um not not stoked about not stoked about this setup here. What's his axe like? Sixteen yeah, that's huge damage. I'm going to keep that. And 10, 2 versus 6. Yeah, that's way better. Okay. Hmm. I think we ought to go for the undead. And attack them. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to fight. Good, we got our spear attack on the front. And our wounded guys in our tactics card. Tactics deck. Which is where I want them to be. No pierce attacks, that's nice, because those are incredibly annoying. So he's going to do 17 damage, this guy has 18 life, so we better put you in. Yeah. Okay, now he'll kill that one. And let's just wait. Okay. Um... Hmm. 
let's wait. I think what I'm going to do is confuse and shield ally. Yeah. Shield her. Confuse the zombie. Here we go. That should do it. Good. More of this stuff, huh? Oh, that's good quality. Uh, good quality is 75 weight and more damage. It's not going to allow him to use two things, though. So, the answer there is probably no. Ah, we could do this, though. Why don't we? That's a lot of damage we're giving up, but we don't need high damage. We need uh, shielding. So, yeah, we're going to switch him to that. Okay. And then, where else might we go? Where do we see some other bad guys? Well, those skeletons came from somewhere up there. Um, or they might have come from over there. Let's walk this direction. All right. And we'll take a turn. A child falls gravely ill. Let us leave it in the hands of the gods. Well, I guess that's all we can do. Okay. Well, that's crappy. <laughs> Probably. Probably not good. Do a little more exploring here. Hmm. I think a two sculpt challenge is going to wreck us. Let's not get involved and leave. That's too bad. See, this is what I mean about how having so few people in my party is really a problem. Okay. Next. Oh good, we gotta level up. Strength. I need you to get strength so you can actually wear something that's not crap. Um, okay, that's fine. Let's head here. What is this? Oh, thank you. Um, takes two to move into it. We're gonna do it. We can explore this ruins. You stumble across some You search the ruins. Mm, she can be a problem. So can the warped snakes. Again, it's nice to have the piercing attack. That's going to be useful. God. Freaking. Okay. I'm going to first action him. That's the best I can do, isn't it? Oh, man. can't confuse it. Oh man, that sucks. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a surprise, is it? However, what it does do, what they don't know, is they made a fatal mistake, and that is that I can now put her in and stab the Utopiek. And now doesn't matter if he attacks left or right. We're going to kill the Utopiac. Um, let's just do next turn and see what happens. Because I think I'm just going to shield out. Oh, damn it. God. Well, there we go. I think we're going to be okay. Taking some damage here, though. All right. Better get some good loot out of this. You search the buildings and discover a supply oh, store armor. still intact. All right. Yeah, take this stuff and let's go. And uh, let's put some armor on. 
Ah, oh, it's just a little too heavy for you, isn't it, guy? You're such a weakling. Such a contemptible weakling. And these items kind of suck, too. Roar! Couldn't you get a strength bonus? That would be nice. Wow, eight, eight armor out of that. That's good. I'd kind of rather get the topaz out of it, though, too. Anyway, um... Seriously, did we just get... No, no, no. We had that from last turn. We'll go take on the spider's nest. All right. And how are we doing on the craft tool? Two more turns? Okay, good. And then we're going to be heading back home. Okay. Yep. Take on the spider's nest. And we're just going to kill him. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. In you go. There we are. Well, you couldn't... Okay, there you go. Alright, just get closer and... I'm not going to worry about it. Good. Oh, that's nice. Always nice to get the uh, bonus damage. Especially for a spear wielder. So we'll take the armor off of you and give you damage instead. How much is that way? 19? It's too heavy for our poor pathetic little... Um, I don't want armor on you. I want armor on you. It's still too heavy for this pathetic medic, but it'll do. All right, one more turn. Yeah. Oh, dang it. What's happening now? As you rest in your camp, an old man approaches you. Oh, this guy. Yeah, okay, welcome him. Or we could kill him. I don't know if I like the direction that's going to go. <laughs> Um, if this is the evil wizard, I'm not sure I want to do that. Um, okay, thank you, kind children. If you will be so nice to share your food with me, I will impart some of my aging wisdom upon you in return. Why not? We have some food to spare. Uh, teach us folk knowledge or teach us crafting? I don't want you to teach us crafting. I want folk knowledge. None of these people in my party are crafters. Teach us folk knowledge. All right. That's not a bad one for him to get. Um, right. Very well. And we have finished our crafting thingy. So there you go. Alright, and what do we want to make with that? Hmm. This doesn't make too bad a clothing, if I recall. That's eh, five armor. That's not that great either. Um, let's make just some more cooked meals for now. Two turns and get some jerky. And then you guys, how about you get home? That's as close as you can get, huh? How about move here then? Ah, we can't get any other exploring done, huh? All right. Never mind. Go here. Okay. Oh, we got two research points now as well. Um, dum -da -dum -da -dum. We have enough spider silk. We could probably make the silk armor. Not crazy about... The vine would be good here, but we don't have any good materials for our primary, so I don't want to do bows. And swords, we could do with maybe the uh, gran the uh, quartz that we've picked up, but uh, let's just take a turn first. Ah, oh, there's a spider's nest up there now. All right. Give me what you got. All right, we're going to drop off our iron and all of our materials, including... Yeah, we'll rearrange our stuff later, and we'll take that beef jerky with us. Okay, well, that's going to do it for this episode. Off camera, I'm going to set up, uh, you know, like, re-equip my guys and get them set up the way I want them, and, uh, yeah, 
decide what I'm going to craft, etc., etc., and uh, we'll just keep pushing along. There's some spider, there's some more spider silk for us to gather, so take a look at my research as well, and we'll make a decision and move on. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Till then, bye bye. <laughs>